Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I thought we'd talk about food, 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 and food because what's better than getting your stamina and your health bonuses up? Now, one of the big questions here is what is the best combinations of food and how much is it going to cost me? So what we're going to go over here is some of the best combinations of food you can get for tier three. I'm not going to go into tier four because at that point you're going to be using biofuel or you're going to be using an electric stove and all that other stuff. And you can even use the biofuel, but let's go mid tier for what you can be expecting to use in easy early missions and use these current or use these frequently. All right, so first thing you're gonna need, kitchen bench. So let's go into the tech tree here and talk techs like we always do. So of course, you're gonna need to get yourself the machining bench. And then you're gonna come right on down here to the kitchen bench. Kitchen bench, real simple, 20 epoxy. Go get yourself some sticks, sulfur, use some of that bone you have laying around to make epoxy and some iron nuggets. Now you'll also see here, refined wood. And you're probably saying, Shabby, how do I get refined wood? What the hell is that? Well, that is this garbage resource that we all thought was awful. And I found it's one of the greatest things in the game. The carpentry bench. So here, you have to go to tier two and get yourself a carpentry bench. 80 wood, 12 rope, 120 copper nails. All right. That's this bad boy here. This thing does so many good things. Like make refined wood. One wood makes 10 refined wood and also gives you 10 sticks. Use that knowledge. So with that, you'll make yourself... A kitchen bench. Also, what you're going to want is here in the tier three, you're going to want to make a cement mixer so you can get cement and then make yourself a concrete furnace because what we need for this is glass. We want and need glass. So we need to make also, I believe it's a tier four, uh, coming down here. Actually, no, it's a tier three all the glass blowing the glass working bench and you're going to want to take glass jar and either beer bottle or wine bottle you don't have to do both um we'll go into the buffs but the buff for beer and wine is the exact same so really you only need to pick one if you're worried about using the extra blueprint point so let's get into what we are going to eat for lunch today so we're going to go into the kit the kitchen bench here and let's take a look at the recipes first of all so the bread dough and the pastry are made at a different bench. You can't put these on a fire. You can't put them in a pot belly stove. This is when we're getting into biofuel or electric. So we're ignoring these because I want to just stay in tier three and work on quick items. So first up, we got beer. 20 wheat, a yeast, and a beer bottle. A beer bottle is five glass, and so is a wine bottle. Okay, so that's five glass, which would be five Alum or not aluminum, five uh, silica, okay? Real easy stuff, but you need the cement furnace for that. So for this recipe, all you really need to do is go out with your scythe, find yourself some wheat, scythe it up. A wheat patch will give you like a thousand wheat, honestly. So you can get yourself set for days, days and days and days, the whole mission. Same with yeast. A lot of people don't actually know this, but you can scythe harvest yeast and get a lot of yeast. So don't pick it by hand. Even make yourself a bone scythe, very useful. So with that, you will get the beer modifier, okay? 900 seconds for all my math whizzes out there. How much time is that? Yeah, that's right. You got it. It's 15 minutes. All right, so we got 100% stamina regeneration, 125 max stamina, okay? <clears throat> that's great stuff. Let's take a look at the wine. So it's the same modifier. See, it provides the beer modifier. So these do not stack. Repeat with me. Come on, repeat it with me. These do not stack. You cannot eat wine and beer and get two different buffs because it's the same buff. So say it with me. It's the same. Pick one or the other. Okay, now that we got through that. Wild berries, 10. Reed flowers, 1. You have to pick berries by hand. Reed flowers can also be scythe harvest. So it doesn't matter which one you take, whichever one you prefer. Um, I usually make more wine. You can see I have three bottles of wine here. They don't stack. So I've got three bottles of wine here and it's just easier because I usually make a house next to a river embankment. So I've always got reed flowers around and I pick wild berries all the time while I'm running around. What is this thunderstorm doing to me? So these are those two buffs. So that'll give you 125 stamina. Next, what I look at is now if you want to go for full stamina build, let's go full stamina, right? So the next one I will get is this, the berry jam. 
this thunderstorm, I'm telling you. So what you need here is a glass jar, which is one glass and one iron ingot, and then five wild berries. This will give you the jammed modifier for, again, another 15 minutes. And what we get here is another 125 stamina, max. There's no stamina regen, but you also get minus water consumption. And you also get shared experience gained. If you find these food tips helpful, make sure you do hit that like button down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you can get back for that sweet shabby content. We talk about Icarus all the time. And we do other great games. So do hit that subscribe so you can get back in. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite three food combinations are in the early, the mid, and even the late game. Okay? Let's see how on par we are with each other. And this is one of my favorite ones for stamina in the mid game here. Is the pickled carrots. Now, they did finally put a... Uh, expiration timer on carrots they used to not expire but now they do spoil so but it's only a single carrot and a single glass jar and you get 150 max stamina 20 percent projectile and 20 percent shared xp the shared xp is kind of useless for me obviously this is a solo character but 20 percent projectile damage that's your bow and that's your gun and then it's 150 base stamina so I like to combine the pickled carrots, the wine, or the beer, and then the jam. And I get a bunch of stamina out of that. Between those two, that's 250 stamina. So that's 400 stamina, and then 100% regen bonus. <clears throat> Amazing. So that is my stamina guide. Now, if I want to throw a little bit of health in there, what I do is I drop out the berry jam, and I come over to my pot belly stove, which is a tier two, and in here, we'll see fish curry. Now, remember, I'm telling, I'm trying to give us easy recipes. There are better stuff you can cook, but this is all about ease of access. And this is all stuff we can pick up easily along our travels at almost any point in this game and hold on to them because of the space requirements. Now, things like pumpkin squash, like, yeah, you can find those, but in large quantities, you're going to have to set up farming and that takes time. So what we're going to do here, fish curry. This will give us 225% max health and then 10% health and stamina regeneration. Now, we're just after the max health here. I'm actually going to pop a couple of those up while we chat. So we just turn that on. And this is what I'll substitute for the berry jam if I want to add a little bit of health in there. Okay. So that is our main look. I need to eat some food because I'm starving to death here. So I'll eat that. And you can see I've got some carrots on me. So I'm going to consume those. And I'm going to consume thing of wine and these are my buffs these are the three buffs that i use almost all the time until i'm super late game and if we take a look at my stats here obviously this is going to be a little different based off of what talent you have but let's see i've got 525 health and stamina 40 health regen and then six stamina per minute so it, it and it really makes a difference having those stamina regens like you can see my health bar there it's almost doubled and then I'm trying to point to the sky. You see my stamina going down there. And then look at that regen speed. Lickety split. And that's what we want to see, right? So those are my top three, or I'll say top four food buffs here. So for the final recap here, just to go back over, you want to make at least a wine or a beer, jam, and pickled carrots. And that is a great mid-tier stamina buff only food build. And then if you want to add in a little bit of health, substitute out the berry jam. Make yourself fish curry because that's just soybeans and fish. All very easy things to find and plentiful. And soybeans do not spoil. Fish does, but soybeans don't. And fish are plentiful. There's plenty of fish in the sea. But all right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. As usual, this has been Shabby Do, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.